Hi. To create a console application project with Visual Studio 2013, first open Visual Studio and then uh, you have two choices, either click on new project or open file, new project, and uh, make sure that um, the two checkboxes over here is on, are unchecked and then in languages depending on what type of installation you have and what is the default language installation you may have different types of um, structuring here find visual c++ and install visual c++ click on win32 and then here click on win32 console application that sets what it what kind of an application you want to create then browse to the directory in which you want to create the project in. Say I want to have it into in the OOP244 directory and let's assume OOP244 directory and let's assume this is uh, uh, a project for say workshop 2. So I'm going to create here workshop 2. Doing such thing will create a directory inside the OOP244 directly called Workshop 2, and all your files are going to be in there. Click on OK. The project's going to get created, and the, the application wizard is going to show up. Either click on Next or Application Settings. And make sure these checkboxes are unchecked and Empty Project is checked. So you will be having an empty application to fill in with your own files. After doing this, a project will be created for you and you get ready to uh, add your files to it. For example, any source file that you have are go is going to be added over here. Any header file that you have is going to be added here. Let me just add one file over here as an example. So I'm going to call this, let's say, PRG. First, I'm going to go to Visual C++ and I click on Code, and it's going to be a C++ file. So I'm going to call this PRG.CPP. And now I can start coding. And voila, it's ready to run. I can simply go to build, either say, either uh, request to, sorry, uh, debug, and in debug I can say either start debugging, which means it's going to start debugging the code line by line, and it has to, it's going to stop on the uh, pauses that you create in your application, or you're going to say start without debugging. That in this case, it's going to be start without debugging. So I'm going to press Control F5 or select this option. And by doing that, it is going to compile my application. And I'm going to have the result right after it executes it. And this is the execution result. Just one thing that I have to mention that is uh, when you are actually creating, when you are actually creating um, a project like this, this is how the hierarchy looks like on your hard drive. So this is the OP244 directory and this is the workshop. So this is what you actually requested to get created when you were creating the, the project. And inside, all the files that you're going to have are going to be flat in a directory. So the hierarchy that you see over here, like folders, they don't exist. This hierarchy only exists inside the setup of the Visual Studio project. So if, for example, I add over here a header file, and I call it prg.h, okay, Okay, so I have this created. Now if I come back over here, and as you see, it is right beside prg.cpb. They are in the same file. 
same directory. And uh, this struct directory structure that you see is saved within two files with, within the, uh, to the project itself. To carry this project alone, uh, around, the only files you need are your source files. So prg.cpp.h or whatever file that you have that runs your program and these two files. That is the name of the project vcxproj and the name of the project vcxproj.filters. This brings everything for a console application. None of the other files are needed so you don't need to carry it around or submit it to any kind of repository. Now I'm going to save this, and close it and that's it. Thank you for watching.